Good morning, good morning to all the replay viewers and the live viewers. Good to see you. Gertrude Nantra here with a security scope. Alrighty, so you're welcome to the G scope. My name is Gertrude Nantra. Good morning, Donna. My name is Gertrude Nantra, G Nantra here on Periscope, on um Twitter and on Instagram. Hi, Nikki Stewart. Um, and you're all welcome to this scope. You're all welcome to this scope. All right, Mickey Stewart, thank you for inviting followers. All right, so three things that I love people to do on this scope. Number one is if you like what I'm saying, tap on the screen to give hearts. Number two, if this is useful, please invite your followers, invite people from Twitter and Facebook. Um, and certainly, if you have questions, type them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. So um, this happened... Um, about a week ago, I got a Facebook message from somebody um, and they said, I don't know what happened, but when I look for your site in Google, it says that this site may have been hacked, right? But my site was rendering just fine. Hi, Des. My site was rendering just fine. It was showing up with no problems. However, when people would go to look for it, hi, Chips to Dude, when people would go to look for it on Google, and I did this myself. When I went into Google, I typed in my website. Right beneath where, you know, my online biz journey, it says this site may have been hacked. Um, and then I read, you know, I read what, um, why Google put that there. And they said that that somebody had injected malicious files into my website. Some hacker, somebody somewhere in the world injected malicious site, malicious files into my website. So to Google, you know, Google was seeing these corrupted files and was rendering it as a site that had been hacked to people that were coming from Google. And I will tell you this, guys, that is so scary. It is so scary to think that all your hard work, all the, you know, the hours, I, I spend hours creating all these blog posts. I spend, you know, a lot of time learning and self-educating and trying to do my best, okay, to put out quality content out there, to build my brand, and somebody goes and does this to me. So I kind of had to find out what to do to, to fix that, right? And, you know, the ba the basically what I needed to do was to find those corrupted files. And Google does give you some suggestions. Their explanation is extremely confusing. I'll warn you of that. I hope this never happens to you. But if it ever does, their explanations are so, so confusing. Hi, Sedina. Um, but eventually I got through what they were trying to say. And um, yes, this happened recently. Yep just recently. And so what I ended up doing, this is what I did. Okay. So I emailed my, um, my hosting company. I'm with fatcow.com, their hosting company. They've been good to me all these years. So I emailed them and I told them, I said, this is what is happening. This is what's going on. My site is, um, it, when I look for it in Google, it tells me that this site may have been hacked. Um, and I need to get that removed. But in order for that to get removed, I need to locate those malicious files and get rid of them. And so, um, yeah, I actually live chatted with one of the associates and they told me, OK, we're going to scan your site and find those infected files. So, number one, if this ever happens to you get in touch with your hosting company. If you, um, and I'm especially talking to people who are on WordPress, okay, who have a self-hosted WordPress site, email, call, live chat with your hosting company, okay? They have, they, you pay them to host your site and so they should be able to help you, okay? So I got in touch with them. I said, scan my site and find those malicious files so that we can get rid of them. So they did. And there were 33 files in my website because at the end of the day, all a website is, is a bunch of files. Okay. It's just a bunch of files. And so there were 33 files that had been corrupted in my website. Okay. How did this happen? I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you, Mickey. And so what I found out, hey, Ma Mary Bays, what I found out, okay, was that sometimes from the U.S., hi, nice to meet you. What I found out was that um, there were, there were, you know, sometimes you know how if you have a WordPress site, 
I'm going to tell you, this is one of the things I was going to tell you to do. Make sure that every time there's an update for any plugin or your theme or the WordPress software itself, you immediately update. Do I know how to do Microsoft Access? No, I do not. But make sure that every time there is a, an update for anything, the littlest thing. You may not even be using that plugin, but as long as there's an update, please, please, please click on that little icon to update it immediately. Because what these people had done was there were some plugins and themes that were on my site that I hadn't updated in a while because I wasn't using them. And so I didn't think that this was, would, was going to be important. So number one, Yes, absolutely. And so number one, okay, make sure that you are updating the plugins. Number two, if you're not using a particular plugin or theme, delete it from your site. Okay, yes, because those updates sometimes include security measures from the admin, absolutely. So if you're not using a plugin or a theme, delete it from your site. If you're using it and all you, you're not using it, but you would like to still keep it, then make sure that you are up to date on all your updates. Because what these people had done, I used to use the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. I'm now on Genesis. I used to use the Divi theme. And when I had switched over to Genesis, hey, Zakia, good to see you. And when I had switched over to Genesis, I kept Divi on my site, but I never updated it, right? Because I just didn't want to use it anymore. But I kept Divi in the back end. End, but I didn't update it and they had injected several malicious files into the Divi theme because I hadn't updated it and so even though I wasn't using it it was lying dormant and I hadn't updated it they were able to access my site that way and inject malicious files and when that happens it makes your site vulnerable to further attacks okay and so Yes, you've been thinking about web, your WordPress security. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, Zakia. So I, um, they sent me a file of all the 33 files in my site that were corrupted. And this is what Google was seeing. And so when my site showed up in Google, it said, no, I'm not using Windows. I'm using a Mac. Um, it said that, um, you know, your site has been corrupted, right? So... I went or your site may have been hacked. So I went in and I don't recommend this to, for you to do unless you know PHP and you know how to do this. If they tell you that you have these number of files infected, find out if the hosting company can delete them for you. They may charge you extra. They may give you recommendations of what to do, but find out how they can help you do that. Because if you try to delete, yeah, they do charge. If you try to delete the files yourself and you don't have knowledge of programming language, you could crash your site. But I knew what I was doing to some extent. Psh, um, <laughs> to some extent, I knew what I was doing. So I just took the files one by one and I deleted it. First of all, I saved each one of those files in case like I deleted one file and then the site like decided to go bonkers. I saved that first, downloaded it onto my, my computer, made sure that it wasn't a virus. And then I would delete that file from my site and then I refreshed my site to make sure that my site was still functioning. So that's what I did. And then I, after I deleted all 33 files, I got back in touch with my hosting company again. And I told them, please, can you site, scan my site a second time and tell me if I've gotten everything? And so they got back to me and said, yes, you've removed everything. Um, they kind of scolded me. They're like, why are you doing this by yourself? And I'm like, because I don't want you to charge me. Um, but, you know, if you don't know um, a lot of programming language, I, I highly recommend for you to let them do it for you. They will charge you, but it's worth it. OK, it's worth for your future, the future money you're going to make for them to do it for you. OK, now that being said, I already let on to the things that you one of the things that you should do. Make sure you are always as long as you know what you're doing, right? Make sure you always update your plugins, your themes, and your WordPress, the WordPress software itself. You let admin do all of that, absolutely. Okay, number two is to make sure that you back up your site regularly. Back up your site at least once a month, 
Okay, the plugin I use on my website is a plugin known as Backup. And Backup, if you use the free version, will just um, back up your site to your FTP files, which is like your main file manager in your hosting console. Okay, so I know it's a little technical, but it will just back, it will just save it. So just think, you know, you, you've written something on your computer, right? You write like a, a I don't know, a Word document, and then you save it onto a flash drive. You've backed it up, right? Because you saved it on your computer, and now you have it on a flash drive. So if something happens to your computer, you have it on your flash drive, right? So that's what I want to say is back up your site. So you have a second copy of your site that is saved in your hosting FTP files in your host with your hosting company. So that if anything happens to your site, you have an extra like set of files for your site that can be restored to your site okay that's number one um, number two make sure to install if you're using WordPress install word fence okay word fence w o r d fence as in like a fence around a house word fence what what word fence does is that it will allow you hey angela good to see you i was actually thinking about i was going to send you a twitter dm because i hadn't seen you in a while i hope you're doing good um but yes word fence kind um blocks people who yeah word fence plugin blocks people who are trying to sign into your site over and over again the people that will try to sign into your site using different like and oh okay i'll, I'll say that very soon yes and so they'll, they'll they'll show you um you know where these people were coming from where they try to like hack into your site from what usernames they were trying to use okay and so i find that if you're, you're still using admin as your username in WordPress, it is not a great idea. Yes, Donna, absolutely. It is not a great idea. I'm glad you did that. It's not a great idea because I find that admin is the one of the most used um, usernames of hackers. They love the using admin because they know a lot of people don't change that. So make sure you're, you've changed that to something else that is not admin or user or username or WordPress. Don't use those generic things. Just change it to something that you can remember, something unique that you can remember. Okay. So WordPress will protect your site, you know, in terms of like blocking when they sign in a certain number of times it eventually blocks them okay yeah you saw that in your web web fence that's exactly donna so donna knows exactly what i'm talking about um back up your site update plugins and themes and wordpress all the time every time you have a new update just do it make sure also to read you know the security terms and all that russia china there are a lot of them from the u.s too i have a lot of um Ukrainians trying to sign into my site. A lot of Ukrainians and French people try, you know, hackers from France and Ukraine. That's where they try to sign into my site from. Okay. And so that's what I did to, you know, to, you know, remove those malicious files. And I'm telling you, you may not even know your site has been hacked into because it may be showing up just fine. Yeah, people are really, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> well, you know, actually, there's, you know, these people have skills that, unfortunately, cannot be used legally. So, you know, the government has hackers, right? The government has hackers. It's, I don't think it's a conspiracy theory. I think it's true. But the government has hackers. So these people have, like, high-level skills, like, high-level programming skills, Right? Um, but they can't use it legally, right? So I feel sorry for them because they've like, they spent all these hours like refining this particular art that could be possibly used by governments trying to spy on each other, but they can't use it. So they use it on innocent people like you and me, but there's a way to protect yourself from them. Okay. So your site may be rendering just fine. But make sure, look for your site in Google, make sure it doesn't have any of those messages. Make sure you're updating all your, you know, everything. Honest, I live in their mom's basement. <laughs> the hacker has their own community. Yes, so true, Des, absolutely. I know that there are online forums that these hackers sign into, little co like coded programs and stuff that I don't even know 
game I, I don't know I don't know nice that's the best word we can use to describe them okay so that's what I did when hackers put malicious files on my site I've learned my lesson no longer so I no longer have themes or plugins that I'm not using I delete all of them as long as they become something you don't want delete them you don't need them get rid of them okay yeah not even for the dollars yes just the brag absolutely absolutely all right guys so that's what i wanted to share with you today you you work hard for your money you work hard for your site you don't need any more drama with people trying to hack into your site so make sure you're protecting yourself with these tips that i just gave you also another quick tip i want to give you is be careful okay what you put out on social media because some of these hackers will actually go to your social media profiles all right you're welcome des will go to your social media profiles to learn a little bit about you and so if they find out you know your kids names and you know your dog's names they may try to use that as passwords because sometimes as humans we try to use our kids names dogs names the names of streets we've lived on and information like that as passwords so please be careful what you're putting out there in social media once again i'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist but there are people out there that are you know are looking you know what may sometimes when i scope i see someone taking a screenshot yeah isn't that crazy crazy that's why today usually i have this particular scope um i said i set my show my location but today in particular i did not want to show my location because i know that some of those hackers will try to get on this scope i can assure you that um yeah use crazy numbers and symbols in your passwords absolutely but i mean that's why that now like more a lot of programs want you to use very complex passwords um but yeah it's not just the passwords though. You see how I just told you they, they went in through a different me a, a different way. The password is just a part of it. You know, so just make sure that you're protecting yourself on all these fronts. You work hard. You deserve to reap the benefits of all your hard work. Don't let hackers hack into your site. Okay, guys? All right, it was nice hanging out with you. If you're watching this on the replay, remember you can still tap on the screen to give hearts. Okay. Yeah, too many creeps. I agree, Donna. So actually, from today, I'm not going to be um, showing my location anymore. But thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you. Every time you guys come on here, you talk to me, you chat with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know what I've done to deserve it, but I want you to know that I do appreciate it. So thank you. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. See you maybe tomorrow or if I don't scoop tomorrow on Monday. Thank you, Donna. Bye.